All right, guys, we have a beauty here in front of us today. We are at 13742 West Barrage Lane out here in Litchfield Park, Arizona. As you can see, we have the home right here in front of us, and then we'll just take a quick look around the neighborhood. You can see how nice and quiet it is, how well kept all the trees and all the plants are. So this is a really, really nice neighborhood to live in. So we'll go ahead and we'll step up here. I do have the garage door cracked, um, just so when we take a look at the inside, um, it's nice and bright for you guys to be able to see. But we will come up to the entry and take a step inside. And then right away, I mean, you can see all of the windows in this home. So, I mean, you can see how light and bright it is. I mean, we only have a couple different lights on in the home right now. And it is super bright in here. So once you step in, obviously you're going to have your staircase right here to the right. And then if we take a quick left, we're actually going to step into the kitchen. So you can see it has a really cool breakfast bar here. And it's almost just like a wraparound type of kitchen setup, which is really cool. You know, imagine having like a TV over there. You know, you're serving some food right here on your island. Or not your island, excuse me, your bar. You know, you can have some seats pulled up on the back side here right in front of us. And then behind us, we actually have a dining room. So it's a nice like private area for a dining room. Of course, you get your huge window. You know, so you're going to have a ton of natural light. It's a really good sized space as well to have a dining area. You know, you could easily fit, you know, probably eight chairs in there. So you're going to have plenty of room. As well as, I mean, all the storage you have here as well. You know, you got uppers and your lowers. And then all of these appliances are going to stay as well. You know, so the fridge, the stove top, the oven, all of that's going to stay. As well as the dishwasher right there. Once we step past that... You're going to open up to another huge area. So this could be like a living area, a really whatever you'd like to call it. You could almost put another dining area over here if you didn't want to use the front area over, that we just take a look at. And then of course you got another huge window. Let me step over here. So you can see, I mean, you got window, 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 windows over there, windows on the other side of that little cutout right there. So the amount of natural light that comes in this home is crazy. So you take a look from over here. You can see the nice beautiful paint and how well kept this home is. And then let's actually take a step outside real quick. And of course you can see you get your beautiful cover out here, you know, help keep you cool in the summertime. Then you also have an unshaded area here, you know, it puts like a you know outside table, some seating, and you have a really cool built-in kitchen type fireplace deal over here as well. And it actually has some seating as well. So imagine having some friends and family over, you know, you could barbecue. You have plenty of space to do that back here. And there's actually this really nice tree right here that's gonna help shade your backyard too. So it's gonna help keep you nice and cool as well in the summertime. So we'll come back inside. And as we kind of saw a little bit earlier, you have this cool little cutout deal. So, you know, you could probably slide your TV in there, have, you know, like a dresser, some decorations. It's something that's really unique and something you can really make cool. And then, of course, we got some more storage here in the hallway right next to a maybe like a den. I'm not sure exactly what you'd call it. I'd probably be a den. Um, but, of course, you get your huge window and then you also get, you know, privacy, but you also still have the flow through this cutout here. You know, so you can make this like an office, if you want like a little game room, you can have some TVs or monitors set up right here. You know, so you could really make this space your own. And it still allows for the open feel, but it also adds the privacy of being tucked away over here. And then this way, we're going to step into the half bath downstairs. So you can see it is a beautiful little half bath down here. And then behind us, we're going to have a closet you know and this closet is ginormous let me find the light switch so you can see how far back there that closet goes so it actually is the stairs are actually right above it so it's a really cool use of space and, i mean there's a massive storage area in there and then right off the bathroom in the closet you're gonna have a really nice sized laundry room as well so you're gonna have your washer and dryer right there you got some shelving above it and then you have this whole area over here as well 
So, I mean, there's a ton of space in this laundry room. And then out here in the garage, so you can see we have the door cracked, but you also do have all your lighting inside as well. So you can see, I mean, a very nice two-car garage. You got the little extended step up here as well. So, I mean, plenty of space to have two cars in there easily, no problem. So that's going to be about it for the tour of the downstairs. And then we're going to go ahead and step upstairs, and I will see you guys at the top of the stairs. All right, so here we are at the top of the stairs. As you can see, we were just right down there. And another cool feature I wanted to point out is actually these windows. So you can see they have blinds on them. Um, I'm not sure if the camera picks it up, but they actually have little tiny cords that hang down. So you can actually open and close those blinds. I know a lot of homes, like they'll have windows up there, they'll have blinds on them, but you'd have to have like a 15 foot ladder just to even get up to it, let alone try to open and close it. So that's a really nice touch to have. I mean, you could easily just stand there and reach up and grab those cords and adjust the window however you would like. And then behind us, we will have another hall closet, which you can see a nice little floor to ceiling shelving area. And then in front of us, we're gonna have the full guest bath. So you can see you have a nice shower tub combo, the beautiful countertop as well. Also the beautiful wood flooring as well, all throughout is a really nice touch as well. And then over here, so these are the stairs we just came up. So if you were to take a right, you're gonna have almost carbon copies of each other. So a bedroom here. And of course you get the huge window. You can see the view out of the window here. And then also behind us, you get the huge closet, which this one's almost like an extended closet because these shelves are very far back. I know the camera's not really going to pick it up too well, but there's a lot of space back in here. And the closet actually wraps around a little bit as well. And like I said, we're going to have kind of a copy of it over here. So of course, you get another huge window, the beautiful carpet, all the fresh paint, and then another huge closet as well. And this bedroom actually gives you a really nice view out of the back of your home. And then lastly, we're going to step into the primary bedroom over here. So you can see the massive size of this room. And of course, you get your ceiling fan, you get the huge window, you get the nice carpet. So I mean, there's a lot of nice additions and touches to this home. On top of, you can see how large this bedroom is. And then over here, you can have your private primary bathroom with a dual vanity setup. You got your private toilet room over here, which you can close this door so you can see the shower. Of course, you get your shower tub combo as well. And then you're going to step into a massive primary closet in here. So you have wraparound shelving all throughout. You know, you got your hanger racks as well. So that's going to be about it for the tour of this home, guys. Um, if you have any questions, you want to inquire about the unit, you'd like to come see it for yourself, or you know you just have a question, all of that can be done through our website, which is rpmphoenixvalley.com. Thank you guys for touring with me.